Hey, in this episode, I want to do a review of the Harbor Freight Tire Bead Breaker tool. Welcome to Urban Monk TV. So I need to change uh, both of the tires on my Suzuki V-Strom motorcycle and uh, this will be a motorcycle tire review of the Harbor Freight Bead Breaker. This tool is useful or used for both automotive and motorcycle tires but I have found that using uh, the tool for motorcycle tires requires a little bit of an adjustment in, in how you go about it. Um, and then this is not how to change the tire, this is just simply breaking the bead. So it's the bead breaker tool, not the tire changer. I have another review on the tire changer and uh, check that video out because specific to motorcycle tires there is something uh, that I think you should know about that tool before you go out and buy one because I wish Harbor Freight had told me about this aspect of that motorcycle tire changing tool before I bought one. Uh, anyways, check that video out. This one's about the bead breaker. Shouldn't be a long one. It's a pretty simple tool, but let's get to it. So as you can see, I've had this tool a while. It does have some just debris on it from being stored in my outdoor shed, but um, pretty simple design. Different widths, clamp down on it and break the bead. But with motorcycle tires, particularly those that have a rear disc brake on them, uh, you got to pay particular attention to your disc or rotor as it might be called in automotive, uh, where you don't want to damage that and the bead breaker will if you don't make a little bit of an adjustment. So operating this thing is simple enough. I just bring it up here bring my wheel in, set that right there, find my height adjustment, maybe go down one more, you don't want to damage your rim. I did break it. Now, if you put a 2x4 under here and under this side, it works much better. Now I'm supporting the wheel here and here, here and here on the opposite side and it's just much more stable and it's not putting stresses onto, uh, onto the wheel so much, just into into the tire. If you like motorcycles, custom builds, or just like a good story about a man's three-year effort to build a tribute to his childhood teacher, get a copy of Creating Mr. Corton. In it, you'll learn how this man changed this man for the better. How this man took this and built this. How these guys became lifelong friends and enthusiasts of motorcycling and craftsmanship. And how the name Urban Monk originated. It's available from Amazon anywhere in the world that Amazon ships in both paperback and ebook, or you can purchase through a link found on urbanmonktv.com. Get your copy of Creating Mr. Corton today. And then when you flip it over and do the other side, you definitely need to protect this disc. And so, there too, I use some 2x4.
And now my disc, I'll show you more closely how I did that. And that way my disc is protected in there. But the tool works good. Yeah. It's especially useful with really thick adventure touring motorcycle tires like this. These are Shinko 705 radials. I'm a big fan of these tires. Uh, check out my review on the Shinko 705. But adventure tires have a lot of extra rubber in them. They're very stiff and they can be a bear to get off the wheel compared to a regular street tire or maybe a, a bias ply tire. So um, the bead breaker helps a lot with that. So in short, that's pretty much the bead breaker. It's a simple tool, but with motorcycle tires, you do need to uh, augment the tool with some two by fours or just some dimensional lumber of some kind to protect your wheel and to protect your brake disc. Hey, if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to become an urban monk and check out my book, Creating Mr. Corton. It's a memoir of the build of my Suzuki GS550 Cafe Racer and it's available on my website, urbanmonktv.com. Thanks for watching.